Should we have a quick look on what kind of webhooks Monday can generate before we end this session? Let's do it. So if you do want to create your own webhooks here, as uh, Frederick told you earlier, you will begin with actually creating the webhook trigger here, since here's where you get the webhook address. And you're going to need this when you actually put it into Monday. Once you've done that, you go to integrate, add new integration. And here we have this webhook integration. So here's the selection we have. It's actually pretty extensive. Um, I don't think since they've added some new stuff here, I don't really have anything in mind right now that is something that we wanted to do, but there wasn't a trigger for it. This will pretty much cover anything. So we have when a new update is posted, uh, when any column changes. So let's say this is useful for when we have two registries, maybe one in Monday, maybe one in, let's say, Salesforce or some other system. We want to, whenever any column is updated, we want to send that over to our Salesforce version of that item, right? This is useful, but maybe if we want to save data or it's just maybe one column that's of importance when it's updated, we can use when a column changes, send a webhook instead. Yeah, and here's what's bold and bold in here is changeable variables. So just like with your automations. Exactly. This one is also very useful. And this is also kind of the core why we like statuses so much. And we kind of sometimes use statuses as more of a button like we saw in the template one, because statuses can also have extra labels that we control to give the user status updates of where the execution is, even though these ones were really fast. So you could barely, barely even had time to see the generating. Some scenarios might take minutes to run. So that in that part, it's kind of nice to get some on the way updates for the user. So they're following, okay, so it isn't stuck. Something is actually happening. Or, or one of your specialities, actually, Lucas, which is migrating Monday counts from the US server to the EU server. And then we're not talking a minute, and then we're talking many minutes. Mm -hmm. So then I know you actually have for each set step of the process. So I, I've seen it when Lucas has a big TV on the wall and it just goes like, yeah, I'm now done with that, done with that. I'm running this and I'm waiting to do this. And um, yeah. And there we definitely have a lot of chain webhooks because we we pretty much just want to click a button, leave for the day. When we come back tomorrow, we want it to be done, right? So there we have along the lines of 10 or 12 scenarios that just chain into each other constantly through the yeah. webhooks. I think the biggest one of those is like 600 modules as well. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, you can imagine, guys, it's 600 of those uh blobs <laughs> exactly so but, but back to here see as you can see there's a lot of things so when an item name changes and a webhook uh, status triggers column changes uh updates and you as you can see you have specific four sub items as well yeah good to know very a few of them will cover both main and sub items it's mainly these two In yeah other cases you have like when an item is created or when a sub item is created, they're different triggers since those are different things, right? Yeah, don't confuse sub items and items. In yeah. Monday, very different things, but in make, they're actually handled the same. Yeah. Because they both have an ID, basically. And that's, that's what right. Mean. Here you also have uh, some new stuff, for an example, when an item is deleted, which is also very useful when you. If you go back to the example of keeping two registries synced, you wanna you wanna have the full chain, right? You also wanna be able to delete item if it's deleted in one registry, remove it from the other. This I, I, I I actually have a client using that, and they have it like a crash record. So they basically <laughs> just if it's deleted, send all the information into Google spreadsheet mm -hmm. uh, because they want to retain that information for longer than the thirty days Monday does. Right. So this way we can we can even kind of surpass the 30 days deletion in Monday by by using this trigger through webhooks as an archiving function, kind of. Yeah. That's what they do. That works well. Because that way they we can also easily pull that data back in if we ever need it again. Yeah. That's it for today.